Hey guys, Professor Doni back. We're uh, talking about heat energy, and this problem here is going to be involving heat change in temperature and uh, potentially a phase change. And what we're going to do is um, have this block of ice here. One kilogram, just for easy numbers, the C value of ice is 2010. Uh, remember the C value of water, H2O, is 4186 which uh, is that base for that conversion of joules and calories. Initial temperature is minus 10. What we're going to do is add 2 mega joules to it. 2 mega mega, when I hit the mega bucks or the mega lottery, that's millions. So that's 2 million joules we're going to add into that ice, all right, to see if it raises temperature. Now, we expect that the ice is going to melt. So we want to find the total energy. that is needed to our, well, the total energy we know is 2 million, sorry. We want to find out what is going to change. What are we going to end up with? So that's the final state and temperature. Okay? So that's what we're going to find out. Is it still going to be ice? Is it all water? And what's temperature? Or does it go as far as up as boiling off? So what we're going to need to do is find out how much it takes to go to certain ones and we'll subtract from the two million. We'll treat our two million like a bank account. So the first thing we're gonna do, so I get a new color here, is let's look about we're gonna raise the temperature of the ice, because we have to warm ice from minus ten to zero. Alright? Let's find out the cue to do that. We'll call that step one. Since there is a change in temperature, we're gonna use the M C delta T equation. 1, 20, 10, and it changed by 10 degrees, that will be 20,100 joules. Now, if that's how much we have in the bank, and we take that away from how much, so we don't have that much left, we certainly have uh, a ton left. You know, we still have whatever that is, 1,980,000. Is that what it comes out to be? I'm sure somebody's going to tell me what it is. So 1,979,900 joules left, right? We wasted that much just warming the ice. All right, the next thing we have to do, step two, leave some room here, is melt the ice. Now, as it goes through that phase change, it goes from a solid to a liquid. Uh, the temperature does not change, okay? It has to go completely to a liquid before we can continue to add heat and have the temperature change. So we're melting the ice. The Q to melt the ice, that's step two, is mass times L F. This is called the heat or latent heat of fusion. And that's the value for it. For ice, it's about 330,000. So that's going to be one times 330,000. I think it's a little more than that, 334 or something, but let's use 330. That means 330,000 joules of energy is needed to completely melt the ice. Now, there is no temperature change when it's melting, when it's phase changing, so we can't use the MC delta T. We have to use MLF, and that's fusion. That's whether if we're melting the ice or if we actually want to freeze it, how much we have to remove. So what does that give us if we're subtracting that 330,000 out? Uh, we're left with, let's just keep changing colors here. 330,000 off that will be 1,649,900 joules. That's how much we have left in the bank. All right, now that it's all water, it's all liquid, what do we do now? Well, since it is all liquid, we can now use the MC delta T. Let's find out how much it takes to go all the way to 100. That's 1 times 4186 times 100. And that gives us 418600, 418,600. If we subtract from that, we're still left with uh, 1,200,000, something thousand, right? Blah, 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 right? I'm running out of time here, but you get the number. The idea is we've taken all the way up to liquid to the boiling point. The next step would be to boil it, find out how much to boil off, and if we still have left to heat the gas which is going to be all steam.